Like this. All right. Cool. Yo, 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 what's up, South Africa and the world? Welcome back to Hunting for Kicks. Look, I promised you guys a show, which I now have, stacked up! And we're back, powered by NBA Africa. And, you know, because me, ne, I'm born, raised in Soweto. I made sure I got some Soweto people up in here. Oui. But not like some dinosaurs like me, right? <laughs> um, I got some fresh, 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 fresh blood. Shout out to my man. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Mpomakua. <laughs> I mean, you guys are gonna wonder who the like the wonderful lady in like the periphery is. Don't worry. She's, She's just an aesthetic, bro. Yeah. And I, I don't like to roll alone. I need to make sure that I, my nigga. Curate, shine in my side. Yeah, curate. <laughs> curate to this whole thing. <laughs> Shout out to you. Oh, Thank yeah. you for being here. Yeah, sure. Yo, man. So tell us about God, dog. What have you guys been up to, like, in 2018 going to 2019? Because you've been going to Cape Town and as we have been doing more, but but Komile, eh, they're doing pool parties. They're just doing everything, dog. You you like an unstoppable fucking force right now. I mean, bro, you know, we we've been we've been we've been we've been caught up with like a lot of stuff you know coming up yeah. learning from like a lot of people you yeah know, all our close associates teaching yeah. us how to do things yeah so now i feel like we're in a position where we are able to take that advice and and run with it yeah because you know advice doesn't just it's not just advice you know it needs finance for it to move and shit like that so and also plans need to be put into effect yeah. and ideas need to be put into exactly yeah. so our trips to Cape Town is more on the production side because you know Cape Town's got the latest factories in the My country. Man. Yeah. So they understand yeah. quality better. So we we want to stay true to like producing our, our, our products in South Africa as much for as possible. Sure. For sure. So we've been making these trips to Cape Town, trying to put things together like um, a drop. You oh, know? Dope, yeah. So dope. we've been just working. I might, I might get into trouble for this, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it for the culture. Yeah. I mean, we. We drop in, we drop in a collab with Coca Cola <laughs> next week Friday. Next listen, week Friday. Listen, next week Friday. I don't think, I don't think people hear this, <laughs> and people are not hearing this. This is an exclusive. Yo, Hunter for Kicks live at Castle, <laughs> and we are dropping straight facts and big news. Straight Coca-Cola. facts, baby, no lies, no lies. Straight it's, facts. It's not, it's not a, it's not a print on merchandise collab. It's like a serious, it's like, it's like a serious cans, Esco cans collab shit. Yo, you know what I mean? Man, so, man. so we, you sit in with the big boxes over there, and they're like, yeah, we know, we like the red cans and whatever, but put your ideas to it. Now I'm like, nah. I need to do my shit. I, I understand what I'm doing. I've been trying to work with this brand all my life. Straight now up. they gave me a platform where I'm like kind of having to showcase my, my my perspective of Coke on a global scale. My man, do you know Kid? Yo. Just recently did a fucking Coca Cola. So yeah, it's kind of like we're in the same category with those guys, uh, but we're in the Af- right, we like African right. version vibe. You know what I mean? Yo man, so that, they, that they, is that is massive. Yeah, so it's like congratulations, man. Thank you, my brother. And I mean, thank you, my brother. Has been in the game how long? Seven years now. Bro, after seven years and Coca-Cola knocking on your door and you're doing this is insane. It's crazy, bro. Like, I mean, I feel like we're at a point right now where South African street culture is like speaking volumes now. You feel me? Like, course, people bro. are recognizing what's happening down here in the streets, bro. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they trying to see you. What's what's going on in the streets and like yeah. we're out there representing, trying to make sure that we represent South Africa in a in a more South African perspective, and it doesn't look like we're I'm trying gonna, to be I'm an gonna, alternative. I want to ask you a weird question: Is yeah. there like a jumpsuit in there? Nah, no jumpsuits. <laughs> it's just, it's. I was like, uh, yo, honestly, man, jumpsuits are like a thing, and I'm and I'm like, I'm not I'm not against jumpsuits. I think I like jumpsuits on women more than I do on dudes. Yeah. But, but uh, no jumpsuits for me, bro. No jumpsuits um, for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably like, we're gonna drop like um, a female range, like oh, probably sick. like next year. Oh, sick. So we're trying to start on a new department, like a female department called Scott, the Scott Girls Club. So we're Dog. gonna run with that, trying to cater for the females and stuff. Okay, I see that, right? And you've been here, like, you've been in it for seven years. Dog, Young and Lazy just dropped out of this race. <laughs> yeah, right? You can say that again. You can say that again. Yo, shout out Capsule Fest. We're here, local, but we're talking facts now. Facts. <laughs> like, why the f- like why the fuck are people dropping out? Yo, I sh- it's I, hard. I, right? I don't know. I mean, I mean, honestly, bro, it's not easy to like run, run um, okay, a local brand. brand. You know yeah, what I mean? Because not, I mean, it's not, it's we're not. in a point. We're in a point where people in, in South Africa are not prioritizing local stuff. You know, Dude. they they more of international stuff. They still wanna. 
they still want to they think they look fancy with international stuff you know so but it's killing it's killing the whole economic like vibe to it because now if up. all the money is going out of our country up, you know what i mean up, and these local up. if people don't buy our stuff we can't yeah. grow because we're not getting any money type of thing so yeah, yeah we yeah. we we must also step up as local brands like and try have to good give services like, have all yeah. that stuff to make sure that we we are getting closer to that but the and aim is not quality, to, yeah, right? yeah yeah quality wise as, as well definitely yeah they, yeah they had like dope quality but i feel like they 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 understand what they're doing you know what i mean because it's, sure. it's, it's not a race you know it's it's like a journey so they probably is, a journey right? in their life it where they kind of like relaxing taking it easy restructuring yeah. the whole the whole brand and, and, of and coming out eventually in a few years or a year or so and i mean when when we do speak of brands falling off and eventually like either re-strategizing and coming back into the game or never coming back all i'm saying is please fam stay in this for the longest time ever why yo soweto needs some sort of representation man Dog, you know? i'm not i'm not sleeping on that shit. i made sure i'm never gonna i'm never gonna try and think of falling off you yes. know what i mean because i have this t- i have my brand inked on my face so Ooh. there's no way that i can i can flop in this bro there's no I'm chance gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I, I I learn from everyone around me. Yeah. Like all the OGs that are around in the game. Like I'll make sure that I get information I need Shout to progress. Out. You know Shout what I mean? Out. And I'll always create it. I'll always make sure that I create a people that that play a role in my life. And like I've done creatively. You, you know right? what I mean? Like so, yeah. it's like all the OGs are super proud to see us rise up and actually oh, fuck shit up like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they've seen us come up as kids okay. and them telling us this not listening but having to learn the hard way type of shit you know what i mean Yo. so we're in a point right now where everyone's everyone's like influence Looking at you, you know what i mean it's like yeah because also it's, it's now is the time when you start seeing the transition exactly. we're no longer like the people who've been running the game for the last 10 or five years doing it and being in the forefront it's more like you guys now come in exactly. and become that new flavor becoming the juice Wait. because Yo, fam, you got the juice. <laughs> we just need you to bring more juice. Yeah, more juice, and make sure that the juice is always juiced up. My man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what what I wanted to find out as well, fam, is things like capsule fest. Do you think they are necessary for the game? Uh, are, are we are, are we being progressive, but allowing capsule to come in and and being side by side with brands like Nike, Converse, you know, to t- t- really like see the proximity at which we can play at. And eventually going to things like Seoul Dubai, Complex Con, and so on. You know what I mean? Yeah, honestly, I feel like they, 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 they. Okay, I have, I have two points, right? Yo, let them yeah. all come out. I have, <laughs> let them all come out. I have out. the bad version and a good version, right? Yo, give us have every, every version. So the good version is that they, they really doing a great job in, in ally, in, in, in bringing these big brands that have been dominating in our spaces for a long time right. closer to us, where yeah. we can learn from, from how they they put up a pop-up shop oh, of course you know oh, of and, course. And, and what's the benefits of that you yeah. know because some of them are not even selling the stuff but they made sure that they put in like dope structures you know so it's sure. like what the hell is happening here so yeah. we're like taking notes on our end but i feel like capsule first could improve on on, on including more local brands you know yeah. making it more about them yeah. as much as as yeah. much as sports scene is a chain that sells like style that people want yeah i feel like this, they should also like give brands a chance to kind of local brands a chance to to kind of like be a part be a part of this experience you of know course, what i mean of course even even if it's like people can, even, like clothing brands can win to get a store customization as big as nike or as big as you know what i mean where it's like they drop that real bag on making sure that we you next level me, fam, you know what i mean i'm thinking like even taking it a little bit further and, and like including all the other people that are like in Pumalang or whatever, and we all go for the pack, and whoever wins exactly. sits exactly. In, 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 in the sports scene for a year. Distribution, you know what I mean? Oh, like Dan. everywhere, because Dan. man, I got tons of these stores. Exactly. Yo, sports scene, if you're listening, HFK just told you, with my man's here, Umpo of Scott, shout out, Power by NBA <laughs> Africa, fam. But more importantly, though, with having stated all of those, what is it that you would like for people who do see you doing what you do? For 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 people that are like that came before you, people in your like you know what I mean, yeah, and then yeah. the ones that are like behind you. So we all know like okay, my man's dropped the knowledge. This is how we can do this shit. Let's kick it. For me, I feel like the younger guys, right? Yeah. Them is, I mean, it's cliche to say they must learn from what's happening, oh, but man. I mean, I feel say like the, the the main thing is like people must find themselves. You know what I mean? Word. Because as 
as generally as black as black individuals yeah it's a problem for us to actually succeed generally in anything oh, we do dude. so i feel like we should find ourselves and get like confident about knowing who you are where you come from Facts. because that's that's the first thing that's gonna make sure that you conquer everywhere you go because no one's gonna tell you anything because yeah. you know who you are like yeah. to the ground bro yeah. family tree vibes you know what i mean yeah. like yeah. you understand who you are where you come from you know that's so important you know I mean? it's so important because without that knowledge bro like so you can't world, succeed the world will play around you, you can't succeed because yeah. definitely bro like you like i said the younger guys must make sure that at their age they must they must they must go for more entrepreneurial like mindsets you yeah. know what i mean because yeah. Yeah. they're gonna get to a point where i mean we 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 trying to influence a, a system where kids are, are profiting from whatever they think is a hobby yes you, yes. you know what i mean that is the most important thing fam we had slicker on the show and he was saying the same thing about building things that people thought were just like yeah maybe this is not a career i'm creative i don't have to do this i can actually go to the office you know what i mean and bang it out nine to five no your hobby can be your literal income exactly i mean yeah that's that's the thing the, the younger guys must just make sure they stay in check they know who the way they are for sure it, you know what i mean and yeah and for me i wouldn't say i, I personally wouldn't advise school <laughs> Personally, I don't know about high school. Like you can like do, you can do, yeah, you can do your grade twelve and finish. But once you're done there, do like your find yourself. Like find and then, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Do that thing, but make sure you find who you are, what you're on about. Yeah. For the older guys, for me, I, f I personally feel like the older guys must basically keep having these sessions where they're involving the young ones to learn as much as possible for sure you know like workshops for empowering us you know keep all that yeah shit. all that stuff we need yeah. we need that information because like five years ago. The culture was not where it is. Bro, you know, it has Kepsi grown. was never going to have a something like this five years ago. Straight up. You know what I mean? Straight so up. now the kids, Straight they can see Straight that up. the kids are like hungry for, for like more local prioritization. Yeah. More than anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because trust me, if they had like the popular local brands here at Capsule, it, would it was going to be a bang. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people are waking up. The messages that we're putting out of our brands are, are, touching, are, the people, you know, right? are touching the people here. And yeah. it's not just about like, we getting the money, we just, we just trying to get the money. So, no, no, no. It's all about the growth. You know what I mean? And that's the, the same communities that we come from and we're giving them the voice. And that's why when, when, when these brands come through and do this shit, it represents the people that are like exactly. around. Exactly. They must, you know? they, must, they, must, they must speak to the right people. To, to make sure if they come into communities like yeah. Soweto, you know what I mean? They yeah. must make sure they have everyone in check. Bre bro, <laughs> what I wanted to find out from your fam, can you please just let people know where they can find you, your store, and what is upcoming out of this guard camp, please. The store is located at Zone 6 Venue. Where we are right now. Where Cancel we are right now, baby. you know. We don't only, we're only including the brand with the store and the club, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. um, we're located at Zone 6 Venue, like I said. Uh -huh. The name of the store is at Scottini Flagship Store. Straight up. Um, you can hit us up on WhatsApp. Uh -huh. We're available on Twitter, What's Facebook. WhatsApp number? WhatsApp bro? number is 062-260-2070. <laughs> okay. You can get to us on, uh -huh. on Facebook, Instagram, yes. Twitter. Uh -huh. SGOD underscore ZA. That's where we're at. Fam, thank you so much. I always you appreciate you having, having us. a little bit of a talk and even thank like you, more. Brother. Yo, man. I feel it. Thank you for having me, guys. Hunting for kicks. We're doing it. Hunting for kicks now, baby. You're rocking, baby. Yo, shout out to NBA for giving us this platform. Shout out to NBA. Don't forget, League Pass will allow you to watch all these NBA games that we're talking about that Slim Dope is mentioning. Stay tuned. I've got a wonderful lady coming up. Peace, baby. We still a Capsule 2018. I'm chilling next to my main names. The young is in the game. Champagne. 69. Tell us why the name. Like, why the name? Like, what's that like? It's 69. Are you guys? Oh, 69. You yeah, can say 69. 69 is, is a peeing position. You know, oh, yeah. Right. yeah no, no, no. We can't confuse oh, the yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so tell me the name. Why why the name? Okay, so then I have to decide. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Just make a quick decision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Champagne 69 is basically an amalgamation of, of both our Instagram handles. So at some point his was Champagne PP and mine is Singing 69. So we put the two and two together. That's that like crazy. Yeah. And you guys were running from high school. You one of the first, like I'd say musicians, because I hate saying just rappers because you guys do music. Thank you know you. what I mean? Thank you so, so much. Yeah. So you the first kids that I see that are coming from high school and really doing it really on a on a bigger level. Yeah. Tell me how's, how's the feeling and the transition. 
when I mean, it's definitely you. Yeah, I mean, like, we, we've known each other since we were in high school. You used to see us on the bench, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll just, boys. yeah, we'll just, like, just get the information off you guys because you guys will have the conversations you yeah. know, between oh, each other. Real? Yeah, we don't listen to you guys a lot. We listen to you guys. And, That's you know, crazy. Yeah. yeah, we have to listen to the crowd minds, you know, because yeah, no they, they, they understand the game. We could learn more, a lot. Yeah, we could learn a lot more through you guys. So we just sat there and, you know, like, for us, it's crazy that we went from making parties to, like, actually, like, being a part of a party. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. That pushes the culture forward, you know what I mean? Like, I want to touch more on that because... Yeah. Obviously, you guys were doing these parties as a, as a crew. Yeah. And, and you guys decided to do a, a two-man crew. How, how did that come about? Because, I mean, why didn't you come as a Wu-Tang? Well, well, I mean... Out? I'm not trying to bring... Uh, well, nah, yeah, there's sure, no sure, beef. There's sure. no, okay. like, like, we're all good. Like, the thing is, we all have our different roles to play, like, in the uh -huh. game. So we have, like, our man's Gondo. He's handling the photography game. Yeah. Then you get, like, Kobe. He's handling, like, the manager game, like, the business side, the business aspect of things. Yeah. And then we just, like... How's Kobe doing? Hey man, he, he on tour with Moonchild. Moon yeah, yeah, whenever I see him, Moonchild is there. What is he doing? Is yeah, he he's working. Yeah, he's working. Work. I just, That's I know great. he's just there. He's working. So he's he's getting his paper, you know. And yes, Moonchild is a big fish. We agree. Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. But right, Kobe thanks. needs to invite me to the strip club when they go. All right. Yes, and, then, and then <laughs> the way you joined, then you got Uncle Buddy Time. He's a DJ, one of the yeah. biggest DJs. And he just rocked out right now. Yeah, he yeah, just killed yeah, everybody yeah. inside. I saw sure. you guys jumping. I was like, yo, after this, yo, I man. need to get them. Yo, man, <laughs> so the, the security tried to like kick me out because I was spraying water on people from the top. So I was like, yo, man. For real? I was yeah. like, I'm an artist. Don't you, touch me. You're a star. <laughs> you're a star. You can throw a bucket of water on anybody <laughs> with good. Yeah, yeah. We started on couches and shit, man. That's like. So so everybody's doing their own things and yeah. you guys are still talking, you guys are still a crew. For sure. Are you guys gonna still do the events where you guys perform and you get I mean we just know, we gotta like, we gotta we gotta um we gotta go where fate takes us, you know what I mean? What? I feel like nothing is ever set in stone, nothing is definite, but if it had to happen and it had to happen the right way, I feel like it would be a good idea to do it. Sick. That's the best way to say it. And then like when when, when stuff like this blows up, where is cool then? Like where, where do you feature the school? Where are you? Are you like I'm done? I'm getting this money or what? What do you mean like studying? I mean, yeah. I, I feel like we're, we're we're both thinking about studying. We're gonna study something that we're really passionate about. Yeah. Sick. You can never take education away. I feel like learning is the most important thing. Yeah. Ever. I mean, we learn like our whole life, so yeah. we're just willing to learn every step of the way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. we wanna put all all the different aspects of art into what we do because we we do come from an art background. And yeah. So, yeah. We've done a lot of things. We've, we've done video editing. We've made beats. Like yeah, oh, we, we paint. And and you also, you, you guys went to an art school, right? Yeah, went to this. Tell, tell me about that. What, what, what happened there? Do you guys decided to go to an art school, or was it a parents' thing? Um, to be honest, my mom actually denied the fact that I was an artist for a very long time. Until yeah. one of her friends said to her that actually your boy is rocky, like you need to take him there. Yeah. So she referred my mother my mother to her NSA actually. That's crazy because you don't get a lot of black parents. Oh, true, true. We're well, supposed to be some model C lawyers. It's actually shit. the opposite with me because my mom is known from a young age that like I've always been an artist. Yeah. So she always supported me, whatever I said. And when I when I said yo in grade six, I was like, yo. When I'm down with grade seven, we go to NSA. She's like, okay, cool, let's just go do the the whole um, auditions thing and yeah. we'll see how it goes from there. And she was like, yeah. she's been fully supportive of everything. And what what does she do? Is she also an artist or is it? No, no, she's a lawyer. She's yeah. she's, 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 she's smart. hardcore, like smart. Like. Yeah, like she's she's yeah. She's, she's like really smart. Yeah. And my little brother adopted from her. I don't know where I got yeah. my stuff, but That's yeah, I just became a creative guy. Yeah. <laughs> and you, your siblings? Uh, I've got an older sister. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, but she didn't really finish school. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It, well, I mean, it matters. I didn't finish it matters school. That it or school matter. yeah. High school. Oh. High she school. didn't finish high school, yeah. Hey, she didn't finish high that school. That matters a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. Yeah. We didn't, Just a little we bit. Didn't, we didn't even yeah. finish, like, varsity. Yeah. Like, we both yeah. went to a fashion school, so. Of course. Yeah. Tell me about the fashion thing, man, because me, when I knew you, you were heavy on the fashion thing. When you flipped to the music, what what was the transition there? Was it like, yo, this fresh thing is I not think, working? I think you got to tell the story for it to make yeah. sense. But for me, there was no transition because I'm still doing it. So yeah, but but I, I mean, solely for me, you were just designing, you weren't rapping. Yeah, yeah, you, you used so to see me sketch like on the page. Yeah, yeah, so when, when, when did that happen when you're like, yo, I'm picking up a pen and let's go get this bag? So what happened was we were like, the one day we were chilling in, we were in Lysol. Yeah. But last off, we chilling, we chilling, all of us, we hang out. 
And then Say and I made a joke Like yo dog Let's become rappers And like rap about Like stupid shit And like Rap about Brum culture And do like episodes We wanted yeah. to like We wanted to do like episodes That was actually Our original idea so, like a mockumentary of A mockumentary like of Brum culture Because yeah. they used to call us Like the Brum kids Whatever yeah. So we wanted to take that concept And just flip it Yeah. And then Yeah so we are trying To make a soundtrack And we knew a guy Called Patrick Lee yeah. Set him up And we were like Yo dog We need your studio We just need to record a track For this mockumentary yeah, then the first track we made was Booty Sweat, so you can see we're actually just, yeah. like, it was a joke for us. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a so, porno scene. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's complicated. Yeah, and then after that, like, when we dropped that track, that track, like, hit, like, 80,000 plays, and then we Sick. dropped, like, the next one. We recorded yeah, two yeah. tracks, like, yeah, that night. Yeah, same night. And then we dropped, like, the next one, and then that one just went far, and then we were like, yo, man, let's try this out, man. Let's take this thing and, and there was a song at, I was at uh, Thingy, at, at Back to the City, and yo, like, yo, jump on, big homie, jump on, I jump on. <laughs> we jump around the stage for like three minutes or something stupid like that. Yeah. I was out of breath. I was like, yo, I'm going to get a heart attack. <laughs> <on my stage." laughs> and you know, what track was that? Smoke. 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 Yeah. Smoke. Yeah. Smoke. How's, how's that? How's that? How's that explosion of that track? Where did I take you guys? It, it's really crazy because when we first dropped it and we told our friends, yo, this is a hit, like, they didn't believe. Yeah. And then, like, when you first Which is crazy to say, actually. Yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah. to say. But, like, you know, your homies, like, you always have to listen to what they have to yeah. say. Yeah. But we, we felt like, dog, this is the one. See. We dropped the track. And what's crazy is that it didn't blow up when we dropped it, but gradually throughout the year, it just started picking up. And yeah. then at one point, yeah. it blew up on its own. It, yeah, it felt like that. I was like, dog, I heard the song before. Yeah. <laughs> but it feels like it's a new song. Yeah. As well, yeah. Yeah. That's what's crazy. Like, word, yeah. word, word. Yeah. And the feature, how did the feature come about? It was actually Ricky. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Ricky linked us up I with know Ricky Gemini. was connecting the kids. Dope. Yeah, he was like, yo, like, these kids are really sick. Like, Gemini, you got to do something. It was, it was not long after we went to the studio with uh, Gemini. We it was, like, one. actually, like, three days. Yeah. Like, I called him and I was like, yo, we're going to come through. We smacked that track in, like, two hours. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, back to front. Like, he's, like, one of those artists, artists, like, favorite artists, top or cat. Yeah. Like, like, like niggas in the game fuck so it's like a naughty for me it's like yeah. it's like producer producer in a yeah. way you know? well I mean he's he's like he has very good energy oh, yeah he really so, does he really yeah. so he's, he's friends with everyone he doesn't pick any sides he's just yeah. like yo I'm gonna I'm he's gonna about do the music. music yeah he's about no. music I'm not here yeah. about the politics yeah. I'm gonna just have fun with this shit he's and, and, yeah. yeah and so like he's like when you go to Gemini's house, you find like Teles, and then you find like Clyde, then you find like a whole lot of people there, and then somehow the beats playing, and then and then they rock out. Yeah, you just jump yeah. in the booth and see yeah. where it goes. Yeah. Just walk in there, you know. That's crazy. Rock out. <laughs> word, word. Uh, boys, we had kept so you guys got booked to perform out here. Just facts. Uh, how was the vibe? I, I would lie, like, I feel like. For us, it was a very big deal because we had to top what we did last year. Sick. And last year was a really big deal for us, I think. Being I mean, last year was like two stages and stuff. Yeah. 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 On the wave. Yeah. The, the, the new wave stage. Yeah. The new wave stage. But we yeah. still rocked out like oh, a yeah, lot. That, yeah. But that side was really dope. It was, yeah. cardio, it was more cardio yeah. than yeah. the main stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, um, we were on both stages. We performed. Yeah. We had a track. We had a track yeah. with Milkshake yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah. Called I uh, Got It. I Got It. And yeah. While he was doing his set, he was like, hop on, we hopped on, we killed that one. Sick. Then we ran all the way to the other end of the... To go rock out. And like to go rock, like, our actual show. So, yeah. yeah. And it was so cool. I'm so fucked with you guys. Now you're on main stage, you know. <laughs> people Vince, so you must be, like, doing something crazy. Yeah, they, they're all family, you know what yeah, I mean? I fair. feel like they, they, saw, they saw potential. And they saw something they, they felt like they, they could be true to. Yeah. And for us to get this to get this opportunity and to be in this position is actually really, like sick from them. Like oh. it's a lot of love. I'm I'm asking everybody that comes through, obviously this is uh, my last few questions. What was the brand that came through in terms of like an installation? Did you guys walk around? And no, we, we, actually have it. we, actually we, we just oh. we went inside and yeah. we just went straight to stage. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. like okay, no, please. actually I went I went to the Nike one, but they were packed me up, so I was like, oh okay. yeah. They actually had some dope stuff going on there, like uh, uh, Air Force One customizing, but it wasn't like paint versus I was chill fly yeah, about yeah, 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 hold on again. Chill fly about outside. Hold on again. Yeah, yes, sir. That was a camp, so everybody trying to greet outside, so it's crazy like that. No, they had like these Air Force Ones that you can customize, like, but it wasn't really like painting with the thing on the shoe. Yeah. They had badges you can yeah, sew yeah, on yeah, the yeah, shoe. Yeah, oh, that's sick. That's really sick. And you, you, you apply, you get your pay. And yeah. then you can work on it and take it home. Oh, yeah. so they, that's really dope. That's I really wish we were here earlier to like, yeah. do that. Yeah, that's the other thing about Capsule, and I feel like 
they must push. It's about the brands. As much as it's about the concert at the end, yeah. but they must get the people yeah. to prepare yeah. to kind of participate. The, the brands also push the culture forward. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, that's the main reason, you know, like, most most people that say culture, culture don't they actually really push the culture. Really yeah, I, I had a talk earlier with uh, these better, better, better live talks or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and then one of the topics was uh, do it for the culture, and I'm like, I, okay, I, okay, look, can we, can we talk about that? Can we talk about that? Yeah. No, no one really knows what the culture is. Because no one really knows what the culture is. And f- fair enough, but for me, there ain't never been a day where I'm like, I ain't doing it for the culture. Yeah. Like, they never, like, I'm culture, B. Yeah. I wake up culture. I, you breathe this, culture. This is it. I don't, I, there's no time where I put it aside yeah. and I say, yo, now I'm a... Uh, I'm, I'm rocking a yeah. suit to go but get money now but I, money. I feel like I feel like one big deal is that I feel like we need to understand about culture is that it's very subjective yeah of course a, a culture is like it's it's like truth and everybody has their own truth yeah they have their own perception and understanding of what culture is do you know what I mean yeah and yeah, I feel so. like we need to be open minded to looking at that and saying what is your culture and what is mine and where do we meet yeah but no but it's not even about what's yours or what not like if you're true to yourself yeah, that's, sure. that's culture for, for sure. me you, you know for sure. yeah, there's yeah. never been a time where I'm sitting down and I'm not being true to yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, Basically, sure. that's what I was trying to say. For sure, for sure. So, in this in this era of sneakers and brands and influencers, who do you guys really, you know, fuck with? I, I think Uncle Party Time. Yeah, yeah, party time yeah. Yo, go Party Time. Yeah, go, yeah, go Party Time real quick. Yo, yeah, get, get, get Party Time in here. Oh, is he rushing? Um, Yo, yeah, I know Party Time likes being a dickhead, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He probably got another gig. Yeah, he probably, probably got something to run. My to. nigga's busy. I can't even get yeah, it. Yeah, man, I'm super proud of him, man. I'm really proud of him. He's I'm, really I'm proud of you, Cass, because, I mean, uh, they, it's always dope when you sit down with young kids and then they spit game and then they follow through with whatever that they said they were going to do. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't get that a lot because, look, if the show was easy, everybody was going to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know. I appreciate that. But before that, I was just talking about shoes. Yeah, it's yeah. a high climax of, like, dead shoe shape. Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. it's streetwear. Where you guys with it? Hey, man, I only lie to you. Like, for me, I'm a, I'm a very, like, simple guy. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, like, even my shoes. I don't wear, like, very, like, multicolored shoes. I, rock, I like to rock, like, an Air Force One. If there's one shoe I could wear my, the rest of my life, and they say, Julio, if this is the only shoe you can wear for the rest of your life. Harlem. Yes, sir. Harlem. All oh, white, baby. I'm not oh, about, to, Harlem, that I'm about to hurt people. Uh, only Harlem. I'm not about yo, to Yo, man, that. this is a classic, you know what I mean? Like, and that's, and that's, for me, that's, that, that's where I, I stand. Like, for me, like, Nike's always been a brand of my culture. Yeah. And it's always pushed the culture forward. I don't think there's an era in hip hop where and Nike, Nike wasn't, was, involved. wasn't involved. It's always yeah, been involved. Like, going back to my point, yeah. there has never been a time that I feel like this ain't for the culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether the bag is small or big or yeah. no bag. Yeah. yeah. Word, word. And you, what's what's your flow with the with the shoe game? I, what you into? I feel like I have I have a lot of moods, yeah. and like I try to I try to wear the right shoe for the right mood. Sick. So I'm very versatile, especially right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to like broaden out my style. Do you wear how you feel? Yes, most of the time, yes. Sick. And most of the time, I'm really comfortable, so I wear like sweats and stuff. But Sick. <clears throat> I feel like for for a very long time, the, like the Nike Air Force One, the lows particularly, because yeah. yeah. I don't have highs at all. But. Uh, bubble. Uh, sorry, sorry to cut you off. Bubble Gum uh, Club uh, magazine. You guys get a cover, right? Yeah, 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 we do, yeah, we do. I, I did my right? cover, like... A Nike joint, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure. Oh, but just, yeah, for we're sure. still on the cover, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all on the cover, but I don't know if you guys seen... There's another zine called Awoke or Awake. And it's got these two niggas with the do-rags and the... And oh. they look exactly I've, like... I've never... Um, I'll send you guys... I thought you guys might have seen it, but it's the almost same identical like concept like that we, that we that shot, for. shot for yeah. crazy hey, man you know these white people like stealing no i i, I don't mind stealing me like you must steal from me because i'm a trendsetter Facts. Like, Facts. i'm Facts. still Facts. gonna get a, a better idea than yeah. you yeah. Yeah. so yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. drake says um, i got i got i got more shit and i'm getting better still right yeah. I, I totally yeah. believe in that yeah. and if you said trans that means the trends gotta catch on right yeah so you can't hate yeah. yourself when people are copying you man yeah Cause you're rocking out, you're doing your thing. No doubt. Yeah. Me, not, it, it was one, but for, I'll tell you straight. I love the shoe, it was one of my 
the first shoe that I started styling with, you know mm. what I mean? Like mm. when I was really styling, mm. this is one of the shoes. But now that as I was like, I wore almost all the shoes that I ever wanted, it's kind of like, when I rock it, it just makes me feel like I'm starting again, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. I feel about it. Harlem, Harlem, only I'm, Harlem. I'm gonna yeah, join this, this aesthetic right here, because I feel like there's a whole like feet yeah, thing just happening. Yeah, 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 dirty, so, like, but, like, your, but your shoe game is crazy, you got the plus with the... What up, yo? I expand and explore. All right, I'll see, see you. Okay, Match the whole outfit and everything. Uh, are you yeah. performing in those? How do they feel? No, yeah, we're rocking. We're yeah, it's like there's like a little like spring action that kind of happens in your heel, yeah. which kind of like comforts you when you come back down, which is really sick. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. And then how you guys deal with the groupies now? Cause it's different. They 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 used to come, I know, from high school, but now they must be coming in like. You know, trans lugs like transport. I wish I knew what those were. Like, what is a groupie? Don't, don't let this guy I mean, lie to you. I mean, <laughs> he knows exactly what they are. Yeah, they even stopped us. You had to even like pull us I mean, come on, like, come on, like, They, oh, the, one, no. the one girl was like trying to kiss my cheek, and I was like, yo, come on, man. That, you know? Oh, I lost the hairband. And she because was like, oh my god, like I'll treasure yeah, it forever. Come on, man. Like, she tried to take my scarf. I said, no, no. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> are, 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 you, are, you, are you guys in serious relationships, or is it just like music right now? It's music, music and bag. Yeah, it's music so, and bag. Yeah. But, you know, do we, do we you want to like build to. somebody else? We, we, we would love to. No, we do. Oh, you want to make the money and start building after that? Like, I, how do you it, I, I don't think it? I don't think it's, it's good to work that way. I feel like you kind of grow with the bag and grow with the person. So it must be, yeah. yeah. But, but I mean, I, this is the first time I'm saying this. But we, 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 we know. Yeah. We know. Yes, we do. We know we do. who yeah. and we know what and we yeah. know what we do. Yeah. But for now, it's it's more about what, what we were trying to take ourselves first before yeah. we start. Because I mean, also, relationships are a whole different ball. And they're really exclusive. So, you know, we got to get our money out. But you're making money, man. Come on. I mean, yeah, we work hard. <laughs> no, man, it's, it's really tough because yeah. girls our age are like, we're looking for niggas with G classes and shit. We don't yeah. have that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We, yeah. we still take Ubers and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. for us, it's like, we have people that understand that, that yeah. we're progressing yeah. and we're not. The rest of these other and girls, man, they meet us yeah. halfway. The rest of these girls yeah. out there, they expect you to top of the line because they see us on headlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not that way. Damn it! <laughs> Sitting with the little homies, we're talking fashion music, yeah, South sir. Africa, yeah, sir. and where we taking it. What's next for you guys that that now, like, you are where you are? What, what are you guys hoping to accomplish going forward? I, I feel like we have we have partial answers to that question, but we can yeah. never fully answer it. And I would love to say what we have in store, but yeah. I guess you just kind of have to wait for it and see. No, yeah. Yeah. Where can people catch you in terms of like social media? Uh, we are Champagne69 underscore, underscore on Twitter and Instagram. Sick. And from that you can find our individuals, but that's Champagne69 underscore Twitter and Instagram. Yes, yes sir. No doubt. Yes, sir. My boys are here at Camp so they just yeah. performed the storm. Yeah. Everybody was jumping around, losing their minds. Yeah, We're out here on live podcast, yeah, HMK sir. show. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. We out. Shout Peace. out HMK right now. Shlack.